everybody welcome to the channel today we are going to be opening up a crate which crate are we going to be opening good question it is going to be one of these if you've watched the previous videos you'll be well aware because i keep going on and on and on about it all of the crates from the second half of last year ended up being massively late and they have recently all been catching up to us these are i believe the last of last year's late crates that I have got to open that have all turned up recently. We've got what I think is the last of the monthly loot crates. We've got two Marvel crates which turned up together and we've got a Loot Fright Horror crate. So I think what we will do is we will open the last of last year's late crates before the first of this year's late crates catches up to us. So here we are, our last monthly loot crate from last year. Loot crate cost £27 a month to get shipped over here to Britain. If you're in the States, I believe that works out about $30. You can go for a 1, 3, 6 or 12 month subscription. If you go for the 6 month subscription, you also get a free gift of a replica batman grapnel gun if you go for the 12 month subscription you get the replica batman grapnel gun and you also get a free gift of a black panther hoodie so let's get the crate open now this should be the october crate which i believe was themed deadish so it should be full of dead things so just cut the seal open and let's see what we've got so last crate from last year now the last one i opened last week instead of doing the t-shirt first which is what i normally do i thought let's grab something else and i ended up gra <laughs> grabbing and dragging out a packet of seeds which just kind of threw me completely until we got to the end of the crate so i think we'll skip that and just go back to let's get the t-shirt out first so last crate of last year let's get the t-shirt let's hope it's something i really love let's be something fantastic t-shirt what are you what are you t-shirt okay it's a marvel shirt oh oh it's not it's not it's not Ugh. Yep. Yeah. See, I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have said anything. I did, and I jinxed it. Phew. Okay, so we've got a Deadpool t-shirt. Now, if you watch the channel all the time, you may well know I do not like Deadpool. I don't mind him when he's in the X-Men or the Avengers or X-Force because he's just kind of this quirky character with a weird sense of humour, but when he's in any of his own titles, just too much stupidity for me. So, oh man. Okay. First item out. A t-shirt featuring Deadpool, who I do not like. Let's carry on. Next item. Next item feels like... Is that another t-shirt? It feels like it might be another t-shirt. Is it another t-shirt? Oh, it looks more interest. Oh, okay. But it looks more interesting, but obviously not a t-shirt. So we have got a little bag a little what they call tote bags a little tote shopping bag which features on it night of the living dead that is a big improvement night of the living dead a classic well living dead zombie film from uh, late 60s i want to say 68 is it i can't remember it's Night of the Living Dead 68. Let me know in the comments if you know. Is that right? Is that wrong? 
What year was Night of the Living Dead? Absolutely classic film. Little bag. You can give that to your granny. She'll look marvellous doing her shopping with that. So, Night of the Living Dead bag. Bit of an improvement. What have we got next? What's that? Little flat thing. We have got... Okay. Is... It looks like a little mini print from... Oh, okay, it's several little mini print of these prints, of these postcards. These are from The Lost Boys, which is not only a fantastic horror film, it is also a fantastic vampire film. And was out, when was that out? The 80s? Um, I don't remember. I'm going to say the 80s. So I don't know what these are. These are numbered 1, 5 and 12 we've got. So these must be like collectible cards from the Lost Boys maybe. So we have got three. And the first one, which is number one, says sorry to brother you. And the second one, which is number five, is saying a serious case of garlic breath. And the third one, number 12, which is showing Keith Sutherland's character, says, Blood, it's what's for dinner. And then we've got various things on the back. On the first one, we've got, it looks like a replica of the movie poster, which says at the top, Sleep all day, party all night, never grow old, never die. It's fun to be a vampire. And the second one has got Lost Boys fun fact on the back of it. The pivotal bridge scene was filmed at the historic Iron Horse Trailhead Trestle Bridge in Santa Clarita. Blah de blah blah blah. If you haven't seen the film, that won't make an awful lot of sense. And the third one, Lost Boys fun fact. The town of Santa Carla isn't real. The movie was actually filmed in and around Santa Cruz. Well, there we are. There's three little, I don't know quite what they are, collectible Lost Boys cards. Not sure. That's pretty cool. I don't know what on earth I'm going to do with them. I don't know where you get the rest of them from. But Lost Boys cards, that's quite nice. We've got, what's that, another little flat thing. Is that... Oh, OK, that's the little card we've been getting now instead of getting the spoiler card. Um, this thing says, uh, want more info about the epic gear you just unboxed, learn about what's in your crate at, da -da -da, go to this web page. But um, don't know why we're getting that instead of a spoiler card. If you're going to put a card in, put in the spoiler card. And we have got the pin next. Pin, pin, come on. And you come. And we have got a pin of... Ooh. OK, I am liking this. We have got a pin of Nosferatu. Now, Nosferatu is a horror film, a vampire film from about 1922, 1923, I think it is. And it's basically, it's an, an unofficial, unauthorised movie of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Now, because it was unofficial and unauthorised, they had to change some things in it. So, instead of saying vampire, they used the word Nosferatu. And instead of him being called Count Dracula, he's called Count Orlok. And I think there's other stuff changed in it as well. And at some point, Bram Stoker's family, his um, descendants, um, sued either the filmmaker or the movie studio and as a result the the court decided that all copies of the film had to be destroyed. Luckily a couple of copies escaped being destroyed otherwise we wouldn't have any copies of it to watch now. But Nosferatu, Nosferatu excellent film, very old, very black and white, very silent I seem to remember you get a chance to see it, you should at least check it out. And have we got anything else? Got a box, which I think is the last thing. 
Fox Loot Crate exclusive, adult collectible, not a toy. It is Dracula, Dracula pencil sharpener. So I wonder if this is going to be like the Alien Queen's head pencil sharpener we got a few crates ago. That was quite cool. I have that sitting over on the side, ready to sharpen pencils on it. Oh, this looks less cool. This looks... what's that there? Okay, I think that's the coffin lid. We've got where you can... Oh, gosh, noisy packaging! Man! So, we've got a coffin, as you can see. A little coffin lid, which fits on the coffin. How does that fit on there? Does that clip on? It just clips on. There we are. Coffin, and then presumably this pops off. Pops off. Oh my goodness, Pop, pops off. And inside we have a woken up Dracula in his coffin looking quite naff. And we've, oh okay, we've got a little hole there, well a little hole, we've got a big hole there, which is obviously where his heart's supposed to be, so you put the pencil in there and sharpen it and it's going to be like sticking a stake in his heart. Um, Right, where's my pencil? Okay, so, <laughs> one Dracula in his coffin pencil sharpener, one pencil, and in it goes, like you're sticking a stake in his heart, and sharpen up your pencil. So that's quite comical. The only downside with that is that does look a bit naff, I have to say. And then presumably... That all empties into the coffin and then you empty out, oh, you empty out the shavings from the back. And we apparently have a little mini pencil included inside the coffin. So, okay, well, that's quite sensible, I suppose. Um, that just slides back on, does it? So we've got a Dracula pencil sharpener, which looks quite amusing, but also looks quite duff. And have we got anything else? We have not. And the inside of the crate looks like... Okay, I think you can fold it inside out. And it makes a little case, which is apparently a vampire hunter kit. Okay, so there we go. That was what we got in our October deadish crate. So let's go through and see what we got. We got our comical, although somewhat naff looking, Dracula in a coffin pencil sharpener. We got our Lost Boys, I don't really know what these are, collectible cards. Looks pretty cool. We got our Nosferatu pin, which I am absolutely loving. We got our Night of the Living Dead, little mini tote shopping bag thing. Give that to your granny. And, of course, we got our Deadpool t-shirt, Deadpool who I don't actually like. So that was our final monthly Loot Crate from last year. Two Marvel Crates and a Loot Fright Crate to go. In the meantime, remember, hit the thumbs up below. If you don't want to miss out on whatever else I get up to, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one.